What's up, Ben Bros? Welcome back to my channel. Have you ever heard of NoFap? Yes. Uh, as you guys can see, I do my special arm workout every 15 minutes. That's how I get these massive arms. But since I saw like many videos or many like documents like talking about the benefit of NoFap, is like more confidence, more productivity, more motivation. Like I don't know. It seems like they change a lot. So. I'm just gonna get out of my way and try this challenge and to see if it's real or it's cap. It's capping for views. I don't know. So in the next 30 days, I'm gonna document in this whole thing and then tell you guys my experience. Let's go! The first update. Today is day four and I feel nothing, yeah, I feel like nothing changed. My life is still the same. I just study and I exercise, talk to my friends and that's about it. I watch YouTube, still waste the same amount of time doing nothing. So yeah, I'll continue and see what happens. All right, it's day nine right now. So yeah, <laughs> the challenge is getting hard. Well, my mind is still clear, it's kind of clear, so I'm actually gonna need to unfollow some meme pages such as this. What the hell is this? It's too much only fan ads, so it's not even a meme page anymore. Fucking bitch. Follow you for meme, not some random bitches. Now, yeah, unfollow, get wrecked. Hey guys, it's day 15 and we're halfway there and since I have exam, final exam uh, last week and this week it's super super stressful for me and like I'm depressed, yeah uh, Many times I keep, just keep thinking should I continue or drop this challenge but the only reason that keeping me up is because I want to make a great video for you guys I don't want to lie to you guys, I actually want to see if there's any benefit, if there is, I'll tell you guys. If there's not, I'll, I'll tell you guys as well. Yeah, just keep watching. All right, boys. Day 21. Ooh, man. I finished all my final exam. And, but as a sad news, as soon as I finish the exam, the whole city is going locked down due to COVID. So. Usually after my exam, I either do a biggest explosion or like hang out with my friend to celebrate. But now I come to both. So yeah, the world is cruel. I don't know how I survive the next nine days. I gotta find something to do. What's up guys? Uh, it's day 26 and this challenge, mm, I'm not doing well. I hate myself. Why do I do this to myself? Why do I start this challenge? If you guys been doing this for more than 20 days, even this is hot, kind of hot. Nah, just kidding. It's a bit, it's a bit disgusting. But yeah, you get what I mean. There's only four days left. Now I can give you guys a conclusion, like just about now. But yeah, I'll still keep going. Everybody, I complete the 30 days challenge. Yes. It was fucking hard, trust me. I can't believe I did it. Yeah. And I know you guys are wondering, is the challenge good or bad? Did I improve myself and I just evolve from all that no fat benefits? The answer is no. Man, this challenge is, is a bullshit. It's one of the biggest myth and biggest lie on the internet. Let me tell you why. I'm gonna break it down into two parts. First, I'm gonna talk to you my overall experience, and then I'm gonna tell you why is this challenge such a dog shit challenge. Let's go. It was alright at the start, like nothing really changed, nothing happened, and but my final exam just came in during while I was doing the challenge. I start getting more and more stressful and become a distraction while I'm preparing the exams. The worst part is when I finish my exam, I still can't release my stress. There's only one word to can describe my last week, which is miserable. I was fucking miserable. 
So yeah, I start staying up late, like really, really late. I sleep when the sun is up and my skins are getting worse. You know, like most YouTubers say that, oh shit, they become Superman after doing the challenge. No, it didn't give me better sleep quality. Didn't make me feel energetic or happier. Everything kind of went the opposite for me. Now I'm going to tell you what the most YouTubers say about the benefit of no fat if you search on YouTube. And I'll tell you why those are bullshit. The first point, the most common point is everyone say um, you'll get more motivation, more drive in your life, more focus on work and study. And they also say they start going to the gym more often, they just more motivation, etc. etc. I only have one question. Why do you need to stop jacking off to do this? Man, why can't you have both? Why can't you jack off and do your work? What if I tell you? I already go to the gym regularly, even before I start the challenge. Is no fat really the key factor? I don't think so. Second point, they also say no fat will give you more confidence and your social skill will just go up. Some of them even say that they become more attractive to girls. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard, man. Confidence should come from what you're good at, like your skills. I don't think you'll just get confident from no fapping. Yeah, maybe no fap is a really hard challenge, but I don't think that's something that's worth being proud of or that something that adds value to you. And for social skill, social skill come from practice. Those YouTubers that made the video, they have good people skill, they know how to talk, they know how to talk to the camera, so they've seen pretty confident, right? But you're not gonna just get it, you got to work yourself up and you eventually become more attractive. So yeah, that's why I think no fat is a very, very small factor of how attractive and how confident you are. Let's talk about the physical part. They think no fapping will give you better sleep quality and stronger body. And they even talk about fucking testosterone. I'm not gonna argue with that because I didn't do a full scientific uh, experiment on this. I just do it and see how I feel like. But I can confidently tell you if you want to achieve those stuff, you don't need to do this challenge. There are so many things that's better than this shit, okay? If you want testosterone, just go exercise. If you want better sleep quality, like try fix your schedule and stuff. You can do 30 days egg workout challenge, 30 days drink more water challenge, 30 days no sugar, no junk food challenge, 30 days force yourself to sleep earlier and wake up at the same time challenge. Those challenge will definitely change your life more like than this no fat bullshit, okay? That's about it, that's all the points they talk about. And there are other like points that are too bullshit, I'm not even gonna talk about it. You guys can search it up and see how ridiculous it is. And after all these points, I think you're, you guys already realize What's the truth of no fat? There's nothing wrong with jacking off. As long as that makes you happy, like makes you like truly happy and you feel satisfied after that. I believe if you ask most of the doctor, they're gonna tell you the same thing as well. It's okay to jack off. You can't jack off. You're supposed to jack off, young man. Don't let other people make you think jacking off is dirty. It's disgusting. It's like you shouldn't do it. No, 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 no. You should jack off. Now, it's your time to choose. You want to join that no fapping pointless religion or you want to follow me, the fapping Jesus. Create a better life together. Improve yourself. That's it for today's video. If you find this video helpful, please like and subscribe. Let YouTube algorithm know you should jack off. I'll see you guys in the next video.